Can you still lose fat while eating junk food? Can the wrong foods make you gain weight while you're in a caloric deficit? Well, I'm gonna end this video quickly where I'm gonna tell you no, okay? If you remain in a caloric deficit, no matter what you do, your body will still lose weight and it'll actually dip into your fat stores as long as you're remaining in that caloric deficit. But the problem with junk food is that you think that what you've eaten isn't that much, but that food, that french fry, that burger that you bought from McDonald's is highly caloric dense and it takes up such little volume that that little volume of food will put you over your caloric deficit for the day. So I wanna give you some ideas as to how you can keep yourself in a caloric deficit while still feeling full and I'm gonna introduce the glycemic index. Now before we go on guys, give the video a like. So there's this thing called the glycemic index. Now the glycemic index measures how fast a calorie gets converted to energy. So we take calories just like you take gasoline in a car and we convert that to energy just like turning on the car and driving. Now the faster you drive, the more calories that you burn. Okay, so if you drive from point A to point B and you, you gun, gun the, the pedal right to the ground and you get there very fast, but you've also burnt more gas. The same thing if I walk to the store or I sprint to the store, the distance is still the same, but in the end, I burnt more calories sprinting there than I would have walked. Now the glycemic index takes any type of food and it sees how fast it breaks down, so they actually melt it down. How fast does it melt down? And they give it a rating from zero to 100. And so foods that are high in the glycemic index, meaning that your body is going to take the calories and it's gonna break it down into available sugars that your body has access to. Now the problem is, if we take in too much high glycemic index foods, number one, and number two, if these high glycemic foods put us over our caloric deficit, then number one, the body will not be able to utilize all those calories in that short period of time. And number two, you're not burning enough to make sure that those calories are being used and then pushed away. And so foods that are high in the glycemic index are gonna break down a lot quicker. And if you don't use them, then most of them are gonna get stored as body fat. And so high glycemic foods are your typical foods. So if you look at a potato versus a potato chip, the glycemic index on that is a lot different. But something like a pure sugar, like a fruit roll-up, would be in the 90s to 100 on the glycemic index, meaning it almost instantaneously breaks down. Now at the very bottom end of the scale is water. So water has zero on a glycemic index because there are no calories and it makes no impact on your blood sugars. You cannot store water as body fat. But you can take something like a apple, which sits in the 20s on the glycemic index. So now you're gonna be taking something that's low, so the energy that gets released is going to be a lot slower. So instead of it being used where you get this like big sugar rush like you would from like eating a fruit roll up or a bag of potato chips, it's actually gonna give you more of a longer, slower, sustainable energy source so that you're not getting these massive spikes and that these calories are not being forced into fat as fuel, okay? They're not being stored as fat as storage. And so you can still overeat low glycemic index foods because if you ate a dozen apples and then you still ate all of your regular food and you're burning 3,000 calories a day, but yet you're consuming 4,200 calories a day, it doesn't matter if it's low glycemic foods or high glycemic foods. Either way, that's gonna result in fat storage and it's gonna result in weight gain. So can you still eat junk food while you're in a caloric deficit? And will you still lose weight and drop body fat? Yes, okay, because if you're eating under what you burn, you go through all my videos, your caloric deficit still exists there and so it doesn't matter if you just have one burger and fries and that's all you eat, versus having a dozen apples, a dozen pieces of chicken breast, broccoli, potatoes, rice, like that's all good food that your body identifies and prefers. But regardless of which food source you choose from, if you're eating too much of anything, then you're going to store fat and you're going to gain weight. So there we have it. 
The glycemic index, guys, is a great tool that you can use so that you can find lower glycemic index foods and eat those throughout your day so that you're not getting these massive sugar spikes where if you're eating over in a caloric deficit, that they're going to almost instantaneously get stored as fat. And when you're eating foods that are lower in the glycemic index, we understand that the energy release is gonna be a lot slower. And so when the energy release is a lot slower, you're actually gonna feel fuller longer. Some people say that it's expensive to eat healthy, but if you eat a fried chicken breast versus a regular chicken breast, well, all that deep fat coating that sits on that fried chicken breast is going to, number one, increase the glycemic index of that chicken breast. And number two, it's going to increase the caloric value of that chicken breast. So when you increase the high glycemic index, you get a sugar spike and then you get immediate drop. So when you eat that chicken breast that's deep fried, it might be a little bit cheaper than the regular chicken breast, but we gotta understand that you're gonna get that high and you're gonna get that spike. And when you get that drop, that's when your body triggers more food. I need to eat more because my blood sugars have completely dropped. That chicken breast is gonna be more of a slow, sustainable energy source so the same amount of calories in a chicken breast as in that deep fried chicken breast, the chicken breast with the deep frying is gonna make you hungry within the next 30 to 45 minutes, whereas that chicken breast of the same calories is gonna have you less hungry for hours. So the chicken breast might cost a little bit more than that deep fried processed meat, but that deep fried processed meat is gonna make you hungrier in the short time. And so you can eat two of those bad chicken breasts which adds up to your bad health. Or you can have one chicken breast for the same price, but then continuously lose weight, drop fat, and feel great all at the same time. Now, I hope this video got helped you guys. Make sure before you go that you give the video a like. Understand that you should be eating more low glycemic index foods. And yes, eating healthier might cost more, but in the end, the same amount of calories to calories of the junk food versus the clean food, the clean food is gonna stay in your system longer, make you feel fuller longer, whereas the junk food is just gonna spike and want you to crave more and more.